Cruz Azul do or sorry, I should say Cruz Azul do Fakin. Cosmo the Magician here and welcome back to the exciting adventures of Catspur the Friend of Ghosts. In our last adventure we managed to get the second of the Ethereum shards, the second of four that we're going to need. And in this episode we're going to get number three. Uh, one thing about getting number three, though, we're going to need to open some locks, or at least one lock. And, of course, uh, well, Catsper is not very much into lock picking. As a matter of fact, she has, gee, one lock pick. And although, granted, she could hit a bunch of blacksmiths and, you know, stock up a bunch, but there's a more sensible and simple way to go about solving that problem. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the Tower Stone, which is way up north, just a little bit uh, northwest of Sarthal, as a matter of fact. So what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel to Sarthal and ride to the Tower Stone from there. And hopefully I do this properly. I just did this a couple of tries to make sure I got the path right. So if you follow along with me, it's pretty simple. We're going to fast travel to Sarthal and then do an immediate bout face. I'm going to turn around. Come up the hill here. Bear to our right. And then, yeah, bear to the, bear to the left. And then another right. Follow this path here. And you see that statue sitting on the ground there on the left. We're going to pass that by. Then follow along around to the left here. Around here. And then there's that little path snowy path right ahead of us. We're going to go up there. Bear a little bit more to the left again. And we got the tower stone dead ahead. And hopefully nothing hostile here. Hop off our horse and go grab the, power, the tower stone. There we go. And we'll take a look at that in a second once we get back on the horse. Whoops, is it? Tower stone, there we go. Once a day, we can unlock any expert level lock. So that will come in very handy for our next step of this process. Now where we need to go next is going to be near, right near, did I spell that right? There we go. We need to go just outside of Mizulft, or Mizult, or however you want to pronounce it. We'll need to go back there again later on in our adventures, but we're not going into the dungeon itself. We're going to a place called the Dwarven Storage Room. Now, there's two ways to get there, pretty much. You can either go north from Riften or south from Windhelm. Actually, I found going south from Windhelm to be a little bit easier. If you, take the, uh, if you come from the south from Riften, you actually have to go up and around some mountains and stuff. It's just a quicker and easier path, in my opinion, to just go up to Windhelm. But we haven't been to Windhelm yet, so... Whoops. Come back to the map. So we need to go back to ride a carriage, so... Back to our normal starting place. Good old White Run Stables. We'll also probably pick up the uh, pick up the fast travel point for Kynes Grove while we're that while we're over there. We're going right by it. Yeah, my frame rate's a little bit better than it was. Come on, over here. 
I can take you to any of the hold cap. Where do you want to go? Uh, let's go to Windhelm. Yeah, I'm going to say my frame rates then my response time is a little bit better than it was earlier. I forgot I had uh, I'd uploaded a previous episode earlier and had some windows still open with my browser at my YouTube channel and my editing software and stuff was up. Although I don't really do much editing on these videos. This is all pretty much uh, what you see is what I did. Occasionally I might have to combine two clips together if I take a break or something. All right, so here we are at Windhelm. Grab our, grab our horse, who I named Chippy, because he's a potato horse. But don't bump. All right, so let's take a look at the map. Yeah, what we want to do is we're going to head south. Ish. And we're going to stop, swing by uh, Kynes Grove, pick up that marker. And then just keep going south, follow the road south and around until we get up over by Mizult. And it's a nice, beautiful, sunny day, so there's no sense in wasting any time waiting or anything. We may be coming back to, no, actually, we pretty much definitely will later on be coming back to Kynes Grove for a couple of reasons. Number one, we'll have to kill a dragon here during the uh, main quest line. And there's also some, a little bit of uh, herb gathering we'll be doing. Catspur is not going to be doing a lot of crafting except for one very important thing. She will be... Uh, making some health potions and restored magic of potions and also um, some potions just to level up and get perk points and to get us up to where we can train uh, more skills into conjuration. Although the uh, potions she's going to make for leveling purposes, primarily for leveling purposes, we'll be making at a new house that we're going to pick up later on which will have a fishery. And there is an amazing uh, potion that you can make with, if I remember correctly, it's salmon roe, hist carp, and jazzberry grapes. And you know, there's jazzberry grapes all along the road here. I'm not gonna stop and pick them up now because it's just uh, no sense in doing it now. We'll save it for later. Mandy, once we get the uh, uh, Winstead Manor can build a fishery there. And that will come in very, very handy for leveling up. Now I can see the marker for result on the map. So now we're going to come down here a little more. We're going to bear a little bit more to the east. And then we'll see a uh, archway, a stone archway on the left. Yep, there it is. Look past the archway up the hill here. Now we want to get the result itself, so we're going to... A little more. Okay, and there is Mizult, which we will come back to later. But for now, we want to come around the corner here. Around the corner, haha. Coming down here. And this is the Dwemer storage room, I believe it's called. Dwarven storage Close enough. Now there's a couple of ways to go. You can go in. We're going to actually open up all these doors in a minute. But for now, I believe that should just be, yep, that's just an expert lock. 
before we pop the lock though let me do a quick save and let's bring spooky up because i believe there's going to be some spiders through that door And we're going to use the tower. Whoops, use the tower stone. Oh, watch out. Yeah, that's what I said. Watch out. Spooky, will you get those spiders for me? Thank you. I sense a presence. Okay, and right up here is the third Ethereum shard. Now, can I wait? Nope, because the spiders are on the other side. There's something else we want in here that we'll need for much later. But for now, I'm just going to back up, hopefully. This so not letting me rest. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to wait 24 to recharge the tower stone. Where did those other spiders come from? I thanks again for all your help. You're welcome. We'll see you at the next shard. All right, only one left to go. I'll meet you there. Okay, now would you get out of my way so I can um, deal with this? Okay, Spooky. Get ready for some more spiders, Spooky. Yeah, go get him. Okay, what we're looking for... And there should be... I can't remember, oh, yep, they're here, actually. Probably not even needed to open another door. But we want these Dwemer Cogs. We're going to all total... All total, we're going to need ten Dwemer... Ten Dwemer Cogs. Try saying that ten times on a mouthful of marshmallows. Yes, eventually we'll need ten, so we're going to pick up any that we see along the way. And I think that was, what, three of them? Yep, that's three Dwemer Cogs. Okay. We are done here. And the next step is going to be a very long and very dangerous dungeon. So this is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you again for watching. As I always say, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to know when more episodes come out. Please, please leave comments. Um, comments mean more to me than anything else. This way I know what people are thinking. If, even if it's, you know, if you got something negative to say, if you got suggestions, whatever, please feel free. Thanks again, folks. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon.